So this week is all around problem solving, which is going to be really good. We've got lots of different problems that we're going to get, get dive into, which will be great. And then the two weeks after that, I'm going to leave you in the really capable hands of the Association of Teachers of Mathematics. There'll be a video posted every day, so we'll get right the way through the year. They are fantastic as well. Uh, but really looking forward to this week that we have uh, together. Today, uh, last time we looked at negative numbers and finding the first negative number in a sequence. We begin by having a look at that task. And then we go to today where we're looking for the second negative in a sequence and the different sequences that can be made in that way. Uh, we can go really deep, just like normal. Let's start by having a look at some of that, uh, some of that work from Friday. Well, lots of children watch the videos the day they're released. Lots of children are also watching the back catalogue of videos, the videos that have, uh, I've produced in the past. And it's wonderful having both of you. So some of you might be viewing this the day it's released. Some might be viewing it again uh, uh, weeks in the future. Um, and it, it was brilliant getting this through from uh, Callum. There's nothing I like more than getting your maths tasks through. Oh, and especially when they're Venn diagrams. Um, so here we go. Uh, Callum's task, and he did include them. Um, see if you can work out what the headings are for these Venn diagrams. Um, so pause the video, see if you can spot them. Right, let's have a look. What have all these numbers got in common? Um, that's, but that the numbers outside of that oval do, don't. And what about all of these numbers that's different to all the ones that's outside there? Uh, shall we see? Well, it's a seven times table, so they're all multiples of seven uh, inside this oval. And in here, they're all odd numbers. And so the numbers on the outside, well, they are neither in the seven times table. They're not multiples of seven. And then they're even numbers as well. Um, brilliant getting that through. And again, anyone, if you're watching one of the, or if you've done an older video, I love seeing that work. Um, and then one more recently. So this was last week. Um, and this was your how many ways challenge. Start counting from 21. Count back in steps of, what could it be? The first negative number is minus three. So we had this gap, this gap from a negative three all the way up to 21. Now that is a gap of 24. 21 there, another three, 24. Um, so how many answers? Um, and uh, I'm gonna show you this one. I'm gonna show it in reverse order. So Joel's solutions in reverse order. One is you're saying you could be counting in 24s. So I think that's one of the hardest ones to think about. Could have just been one huge jump of 24 backwards uh, from minus three to 21. And then if I'm thinking systematically, let's go for this. It could have been counting in 12s. So it could have been two jumps. And we can see those intervals there. Um, it could have been uh, steps of eight, three steps of eight. So we could split that 24 into three. Uh, so it's jumps of eight. I could have split the 24 into four um in jumps of six as shown there now i can't split 24 into five because uh, five isn't a factor of 24 um but i could split it into six fours just like there there are all the intervals it, it could be that i split it into seven threes as well um now i can't split it into 12 sections um because then negative three that wouldn't be the first negative number it would be the second one so there we can see all those solutions there great stuff well today's not about finding the first negative number it's about finding the second negative number so we're going to apply that and as you can imagine we're going to go that little well that literal one step further second negative number um so have a look at these sequences here the first three terms of a sequence are positive whole numbers they are in all three of these examples to find the next term in the sequence the same number is subtracted um, so for each sequence, your task is this. What is the second negative number going to be? And see if you can do it without always having to count back in steps of the number that's being subtracted. Pause the video and have a go. And let's have a look. The key with the first one is I was hoping that you wouldn't just keep subtracting twos all the way from 127, because my goodness, that would take a long time. But just notice that when we're subtracting two, we have a pattern of odd numbers. So we're missing uh, all of the even numbers we're landing on every single odd number. So in that sequence, I might pick that up again when we get to one and then minus one and minus three. Um, so the second negative number there is minus three. Um, in the red sequence here, we're going down in steps of seven. So that one I might just complete and see then we've 12 subtract seven is five. And then five subtract seven. Five to get to zero, subtract two more, 
it is, uh, it is minus 2. So the second negative number is minus 9. Um, and you notice the third green sequence. We have this advantage here that we're going down in 4s and all these numbers are actually multiples of 4. So we know that, that 0 will be in that sequence. And so we'll four, minus 4. The first, uh, the second negative number, sorry, is minus 8. Okay, now minus 4 is the second negative, numbers in, ne negative number in a sequence. And this is your task. What could the sequence be? Design different sequences that it could be. Um, you might have one, you might have two, you might have, well, you, you could have any, any number. Um, be creative, pause the video, have a go. And let's have a look. Now, I hope you notice something. I'm going to show you one example. It could be the sequence goes down in twos. So we have zero. My first negative number is, is minus two, and the second negative number is minus four. It couldn't have gone down in ones, of course, um, because if I went minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, then minus four, well, that wouldn't be the second negative number in the sequence. Um, but here's another one. It could be something like this. It could be eight, five, two, minus one, minus four. So that's going down in steps of three. Now notice it couldn't go down in steps of four because then I would have zero minus four and minus four would be the first negative number in the sequence. Are there any other ways? Well, actually there are if we use decimals, let's say this one, this time I'm subtracting uh, 2.5 each time. So I go down to my first negative number is minus one and a half and then I get to minus four. So here we go. Here's the task. The first three terms of a sequence are positive whole numbers. To find the next term in the sequence, the same number is subtracted, just like the examples we've seen. Minus seven is the second negative number in the sequence. Write the first three terms of the sequence. Now there are different possible ways. I've been using whole numbers in my sequences. Um, so uh, I'm gonna show some possible answers in a moment. But here's your big task. Pause the video and get stuck in. So here we go. We're going to have a look at some different possible sequences and we're going to consider what we could have subtracted in steps of. So can the difference between the numbers in the sequence be three? Can we be subtracting in threes? Would this work? Um, now all the examples we're going to look at, minus seven is in the sequence. So let's have a look at this one. Um, so it would go to the two and then we'd have minus one, minus four, minus seven. So no, that doesn't work because minus seven is the third negative number in this sequence. So steps of three are too small to make minus seven the second negative number. Well, could the sequence be going down in fours? Will this work? Let's have a look. Yes, because we will have one, then it'd be minus three, and then it'd be minus seven. So there's one possibility. Uh, could we be going down in fives? Like this sequence here. Yeah, that would work. Three, and then if I subtract five, I get to minus two and then minus seven. Can the difference between the numbers in the sequence be six? Well, yes again. Um, I could be going from five to uh, uh, subtracting six will get me to minus one and then subtract another six to minus seven. Now, can the difference between the numbers in the sequence be seven? Is that possible? Let's have a look. Well, no, not in this case. I go seven and then zero, and then actually my first negative number would be minus seven. So the other examples are different possible uh, sequences that we could have. So if you wanna have a go at an extend task, click on the blue link underneath the video. It's a slightly different twist on the task that you've already had a go at. Um, so this time, the first term in your sequence must be between 50 and 60. Uh, again, to find the next term in the sequence, the, uh, the same number is subtracted. And this time, minus 11 is the third negative number in the sequence. But what are the first three terms of the sequence? Uh, can you find different ways that that can be done? Think about those steps as well. Um, so how many different ways can it be done? How many different steps can we be going down in? Um, there are some suggested answers at the bottom. I'd love to hear any solutions that you've got. Um, and I'll see you again tomorrow.